okay it's not straight why the camera is a little bit dirty let me clear this one first let me wipe my camera first okay it looks like live now so um i think oh, it's not straight let me see it's straight this this is the crucial part make some breakfast good morning everyone good morning good afternoon good evening wherever you are in the world i hope you are having a beautiful weekend so here we are back again in the kitchen and as you can see i have the shredded hash browns so it's early in the morning and i'm gonna make some breakfast for the kids i know that they're not gonna be up early this weekend because it is the weekend and they try to slip in so i don't know how much i need maybe put the camera a little bit closer closer Right, so maybe I need this much. No. You know what? I'll get a bigger uh, container for that. And in front of me, there is a cat that is staring at me. He's just woken up so early. And went back to bed Roku. get your beauty sleep hmm i know okay let me wash this uh, big mixing bowl just to be sure that it is clear from dust and all of that so i'll put it here transfer it here like that so i can add some more of the shredded hash brown i would have used the fresh one to um shred it but i ran out of that potatoes the big ones i only have the baby dutch yellow ones so maybe this much is enough for now Mm-hmm. And then I am going to um going to add some eggs and I have a butter here. Now if you wanna try this, you can definitely option this. You don't have to add the butter, you can just use like cooking oil whatever uh, makes you happy but let me cut maybe uh, two let me cut two tablespoon of this butter from Lando Lakes I usually use the one from Lando Lakes if you are here in the United States yeah, Lando Lakes is big time. It's not sponsored, but I'm just showing you what I use today. And this is from Lando Lake. And I'm going to cut just that much there. Where is the beautiful knife? Come on, show up. Okay, so I'm going to cut it here. Okay, careful we don't want to lose a finger. Okay, all right, here it is. I'm going to put it in this bowl. I can prepare, I have a bowl here. So now I will stick it in the microwave for five 
5 to 10 seconds. And so I can. Oops. Okay, so how are you guys doing today? So it's a cute little cut right here. So it's a cute little cut right here. I can show it to you. <laughs> it's just sitting there. Just woke up so early. And of course, he wanted to know what I'm up to. He wanted to always know what I'm doing in the kitchen. Because, okay, let me, oops, it's not done yet. Maybe I'll do some more. That was the wrong, that was miscalculation right there. Let me put like 30 seconds. Okay, it's not too bad. Today is the weekend. I usually babysit on the weekend. So, just, um, it's busy on the weekend and I'm gonna put this back in the fridge it's a busy weekend guys I do uh, babysit every weekend so if you notice I do not upload on the weekends Ooh, now stop okay so but it's just a quick live making a breakfast for the little girls Okay, now there is our melted butter. I am going to add it here on our hash brown, the shredded one. Okay, now that's that. Let's add the eggs. I have eggs here in front of me. Large eggs. Okay, large eggs. And how many should I put or use? How many eggs? Well, let me use like two. Okay. Eggs. You know, I'm thinking of getting a chicken. And maybe one or two. So I can get the free eggs. And I noticed because the eggs from the supermarket gotten a little bit expensive. So, that's what I was thinking. One egg to get the free eggs and get a chicken. This way, I will have free eggs every week. I used to have chickens when I was uh, in upstate New York. We used to have a lot of chickens. Although the fox eat them during winter time stuff like that but over 100 chickens because we live in a farm we used to live in a farm and so we uh, we used to have a lot of eggs too and vegetables we had a garden so i need to refill my salt it's almost empty let me add a little bit of salt okay a little bit of salt a little bit of black pepper okay these are the must in the kitchen that i use a lot i was looking uh electric grinder for the uh black pepper oh boy they're expensive next i will add my one half teaspoon of flour just like that let me see Okay, guys now before we mix it up let me turn on the stove so that is warm and ready to when we are ready to cook it just uh, multitasking a little bit and let me get something to mix it up my coffee cheers I'll use this one okay okay oh 
it's getting closer. I am going to travel. I think I mentioned it last time. I'm going to travel in maybe two months. And I'm so excited because I haven't seen my family for almost 10 years. So it's exciting and a little bit sad. I will explain it to you later why well, it's a little bit sad. It's not like a pleasure vacation or travel, but that's how it looks like now. I am going to uh, grab some oil. I'm going to use some uh, just the regular cooking oil, nothing fancy. Okay. So, let's add a little bit of oil, just like that. And then, I am going to um, spread it, spread it, the oil, just like this, a little bit, a, a little bit too much, I think. Well... okay what time do you guys get up in the weekends when you don't have work or anything uh, i usually get up on the weekend around because i'm not a morning person so i usually get up around eight or nine but today it's like i wake up around six thirty, i think and it's like seven forty five now there so uh, I just wake up early because can't afford all the noise from these cute little girls when they wake up and um, oh, I, I just want you to hear me and so we are going to cook it put the heat down a little bit because I am a bit scared of the splashing okay that's that's what i'm talking about yeah what are you talking about okay just a crucial part okay so let me cook it okay and today i am going to again to the post office Okay, just, just, and then we will spread it, spread it like this, mm-hmm, the kids love hash brown, that's why I make it sometimes, once in a while, I change it up. Sometimes they like pancakes, they like um, different flavor of pancakes because sometimes I add some blueberries, I add some strawberries, bananas, different kind of flavor that make the girls happy. And so we will wait until it's a little bit brownish and it should cook uh faster hopefully i try to make something that is quicker so that it's not gonna take much of your time so i mean if it takes too much time if i have a lot of things to do outside youtube so i just uh figured make something like this for you what's wrong roko i i can hear you crying all the way from the kitchen where are you now what happened stop oh you want to you want to go out hmm? i will just let the cup out first i'll be right back guys
So I am back. And let's see how this turns out now. We want it like a little bit golden brown, something like that. It's, if you can see it, let's see. Like that over here. But I'm afraid that it's gonna break, you know? We don't want to turn this into scrambled egg again. <laughs> Last time I was trying to make omelet, started starting off very, very nicely and then Towards the end, it turned into a scrambled eggs. That was the most humiliating experience ever. And my cooking. <laughs> Just kidding. So, well, it looked like that now. That is a half, oh, half cook, half almost like done. So I have this Parmesan cheese finely shredded i'm going to tap it off on top of that deliciously uh, breakfast I'll put this away quick all right all right guys so hope you're having a beautiful day um the reason why i ask what i was open this okay finally i opened it up and so i will add some cheese parmesan cheese on top make it all cheesy for the little girls it's gonna be so yummy deliciously Mm-hmm. Just like that. This really is smells good. Mm-hmm. One more time. Okay. Do you think that's enough? Do you think that's uh too much cheese now? I just love it so cheesy guys so i'm lactose intolerant so sometimes i want to enjoy the cheese and dairy the milk i choose to buy the lactaid or any milk that is lactose free or i have this one that i buy um if you're lactose intolerant you can and if you just uh if you want to try to eat and enjoy your like ice cream any any dairy and stuff so try using this one i'm not promoting this all right i'm just uh showing to you what i am uh, taking before i enjoy the food that i like to eat that has dairy in it so i choose to take this one and i just got this from walmart <laughs> walmart <laughs> Walmart is very close to my house, so that is why. Anyway, let's try to flip this baby, see if it's working now. I just don't want you to be ruined, all right? Please, I can't edit this video, so do not be ruined for me right now because that's just gonna be so depressing okay trying to make it perfect oh. okay i need some help with this oh this is the this is the scary part for me guys to flip this one this is the scary part to uh flip this one da -da -da. okay let me see. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. No. Oh my goodness. Oops. Let me see. It's almost like 
it's almost like broken. It's broken a little bit over here. first one second guys some rag last weekend so here it is I'm trying to turn it this way so that it will be cooked this side as well the good thing of this skillet iron skillet like this guys is because they heat uh they heat plainly or um what do you call that like the heat uh, i cannot say the word but it's in my head it happens all the time like a mental block something like that but it's taking forever put the bit a little bit high so that um so that you can get rid of me <laughs> get this over with and get rid of zo zo kitchen the place to be <laughs> all right so almost like oh by the way today saturday all right i am going to get my um get riley her second dose of vaccine it is required to enter the country where we're going and i will officially announce it once it it happens whenever it's happening okay so until i get everything sorted out i'm not gonna tell you yet but once it's official i will tell you guys my whereabouts and this and that you know and you cannot keep a secret about my life i always share it so the good thing about the eggs is very uh it's not as expensive as like uh, chicken breast meat or stuff like that when it comes to if you want to get your protein intake this egg is definitely cheaper than those meats so and very so very economical protein if you're into protein because protein is important as well as the carbs oh wow what are we talking now <laughs> what do you know well i don't know nothing what do you know though i don't know so well this is almost done guys and i'm just um, putting the heat down a little bit so that it doesn't burn because i just want it to turn into this um this one the brown golden brown i want it to turn it that way so it will be delicious and the girls will enjoy it okay all right guys it's almost done you can smell it, it smells like it smells like egg <laughs> oh my goodness just looks so good and makes me hungry i can't wait to oh, i'm gonna turn it I'm gonna turn it guys the rug okay it's almost done and i hope i didn't burn it because that will be devastating <laughs> devastating 
like not devastating disappointing we're not gonna exaggerate the words sorry about that i just thought that was the right word but that's not the right word it's disappointing is the right word that i was looking so i hope that i hope that this is gonna turn into a perfect result that i've been wanted i'm not gonna turn it in a scrambled egg not really not this time i messed up my omelet last time and i'm not gonna do it this time because i try to make a mistake only once and learn from it because the best teacher in life is our life experiences right the best I learned the hard way in life, you know. I lost my mom in such a young age and I learned how to survive. And after being married for many years, um, almost 15 years, I lost my husband and accidentally he passed away. So now... I have to go back to square one and start all over and try to survive. So, uh, good thing that the good thing is that I can be thankful is that I trained myself or my mind to be strong. I can honestly say that my mind, I have a strong mindset. That's how I train it from the beginning of time that i was struggling in such a young age that my father would go to work and we didn't have a mom at home it's just me and my sister and i was just seven years old she was five years old and i learned to cook <laughs> just eggs rice and eggs every day so i think i can honestly say and i think that life experiences really taught me how to uh, play the game of life because you know life is very unpredictable my husband before he passed away he was just happy man sailing let me flip this one and oh my goodness i'm so scared i'm so scared to flip this one guys but like I said, we'll always face the fear. Why? Jesus Christ. Sorry. <laughs> oh my goodness. So sorry. Well, not perfect, you know. This is live, so we cannot cut anything. So that's how it is. It looks like it's still eatable, right? Don't you think? It still looks delicious to me. Hmm. Well, I'm going to put in a plate soon and take a bite for all of us. And so we can end the video and the little girls are going to be up soon. So, yeah. Okay. Now let me get the plate. Put it back here like that. All right. Let me get a plate so we can put it. it is time to turn off the stove and put it here now want to make this beautiful for you and I hope I do not make it all ugly just like that okay just like oh my goodness really hard because also this skillet iron skillet is a little bit 
heavy. Okay, all right. Here it is. He here's our breakfast for today. Hmm. Look at that, guys. It's still eatable. Do I have to cut it and try it in front of you? Put some cheese there. Wow. Tasted. Now let me cut it. And let me just get some pork and a knife. Whoa. And um, we'll cut it. So, I know you keep coming back because of my food that I cook every day. So, I'm going to cut it and end the video here so that you guys can enjoy the rest of your weekend. Okay, now that's it. Looking so pretty. Well, I don't know about so pretty, but... Like I said, it's still eatable, right? Now, let me um, cut some more into a bite size. Just like this size here. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. it's really hot. Okay. So, one bite, first bite is for all of you. Thank you so much for joining with me and I thank you for giving me your attention for today. So, I hope you have a beautiful weekend. See you next time. Cheers! Bye-bye! Mm. Mm. Yum.